Oh, it is that time once again. Sidekicks brought to you by Pace Center. Greg Acuna from Pace Center back with us. And Chris Black, I think you live here, right? Yeah, I just stayed. Okay. I appreciate it. No rent. I'm just glad you dressed up for us. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, again, we have talked about it. We talked about it last week, last couple of weeks. We are in the season. Things are thick. Chris, you called that St. Francis Whitmer game. Another chance to see Francis Stevens Knights, <laughs> and they look good, despite yeah. Francis. Yeah, Sorry, I had to throw that yeah, in. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Well, we're not talking aesthetics. We're talking about effective, effective play of the team. Yes. And, and, and the kids were, were did a really nice job. They came out pressure right away, just like against Perrysburg that they won early in, earlier in the year. They got a lot of goals, but Spencer Strake uh, blew up for uh, four goals in the first five and assisted on the fifth. He didn't score, but Chris Meyer stole the game. Two goals at the end of the game was yeah. fantastic. And maybe somewhat equaled by a Christian Mendoza and goal for Whitmer. The guy stood on his head literally, figuratively, was fantastic. And, and, and you got it right, Christian Mendoza. People were cut. I mean, come on. Every now and then it happens. I do it almost every other night. Uh, Greg, you don't have to talk on television too much, so it should be a lot easier for you. Uh, your, your thought, the NLL, we saw Anthony Wayne in Perrysburg and, and a couple of guys on that team, uh, Zach Mocha and, and Brendan Graves, playing on opposite sides, but two of the best players in Northwest Ohio. I, I'm sure you're familiar with. Very, very much so. Two very talented kids that have bright futures ahead of them. I mean, Mocha is one of the most creative and um, – you know, really talented goal scorers. And the other end, you have Graves, who is just a monster in net. Uh, he plays, you know, even played for uh, Villa for the last game of the season with us. So really excited to see where these guys end up. And one thing about that game, and, and again, and, and club level, varsity level, I mean, you're going to have fouls. But that thing was like a tackle football game at some point, even a red card in there. So, Greg, I want to ask you first, uh, you get in a situation where you got a kid committing fouls. Do you pull them over? Do you talk to them? You sell, or what, what's the conversation like? I think, I think it's the hardest thing is to do that because at one end you want them to be extremely competitive and aggressive because you know you want that person to find ways to control the game. But I think the thing is if it goes too far, I think you bring them over to the sideline and say, hey, calm down, um, see you know what the ref does. And if it goes too far, you know you take them off, have a word with them, and then bring them back on. Because the last thing you want to do is if you get a red card, now you're playing a man down the rest of the game, and that's right. hurting the team big right. time. And that's what happened to Perrysburg. Okay, and then flip it. You got you see a guy out there. How hard do you go at the ref to say, hey, we got to get this guy out of there on the other team? It's hard because you know every coach tries to influence, influence the rest a little bit. That's part of the game too. Is you know you want the ref to be on your side, um, but at the same time you don't want to go fishing for calls either. But it's it's a balance at that. But it's also very important that refs, you know, do control the game, and it's very important that you know we do have qualified refs in the area that want to coach and can control the game, which is also a very important skill. Yeah, and so. and that is why we we bring in Chris Black, who has done both sides of the fence, coaching and refing. All right, Chris, uh, a game with a bunch of fouls, like Greg's talking about. What is your stance as a referee? Uh, well, as a referee, first, you, you want the game to be figured out on the field. You don't want to be sitting there deciding who gets to play the game, who's going to be finishing the game. So you want to let the game be figured out that way. But when it starts to get chippy, you've got to try to understand, okay, I think I see a movement towards getting too aggressive. Maybe a couple soft calls get called. Maybe slow the game down a little bit, a couple talking to some players, and then get into the book. And I will say the rules right now for high school are difficult. There's such a hard penalty for red, hard red cards that a lot of the officials are scared to throw it. And at the end of the day, if the penalty's too severe, the officials start being a little soft on the, ah, it's a kid, and they don't throw it. So maybe that's something which I say, hey, it has to look at. We have a lot of cards coming out right now. Maybe it's not enough. Maybe the rules have to change the enforcement later and not be two games out afterwards or two red cards are done for the year so that the officials can use everything in their toolbox to get the game under control. Is that, uh, obviously it is, but as far as a judgment call, uh, you know, different referees are going to referee different ways. Yeah. What, what was your uh, attitude when you were in a game and it, you saw it getting chippy? Well, you know, my thought process, if I'm officiating a game, and Grant, I'm not doing it at a high level at any stretch of imagination, not to say your son's game was not at a high level this winter <laughs> and indoor, but... Yes, yes, <laughs> but, high uh, level. Yeah, yeah, Th that being said, it, it's just try to get an idea of the, of the type of teams you're playing ahead of time, get an idea of the sense of competitiveness. Uh, is there anything you can think of that happened last year <laughs> that you need to be able to look out for, and then just get it settled right away? A couple warnings to a coach or a captain, settle down. Uh, you know, wh whereas a coach, we always said, you're putting the kids out in the field, you play to the official and how you think they're going to, to uh, affect the rules. So if you're a player, you got to remember what the official did last time because some, to be fair, some officials are coming in with a thought of a player, and that player better not try to give them an idea that's going to happen right. again so you can go a little bit soft. I hate it when an official before a game says, I'm watching you, number nine. It's like, oh, great. Yeah, <laughs> that's, the target. that's not fair. And, and Greg, well, there's a line that you walk up to as a coach with a referee in any sport, but 
Do you know, I mean, and you mentioned we need officials around here. It's so difficult to be. How do you know where that line is where you're like, okay, I can push to here, but I better back off? I mean, when do you, is, is it depend on the individual ref? You know, I think it depends on the ref because you don't want to push that official too far. Um, and you make a great point, too. I think especially even in the youth game, um, we need more officials in the area. And it's very important that coaches are actually um, really leaning towards and supporting officials, too. We're at that point. We're going to bring more refs in. Um, so I think, you know, going back to all these points, I think right now we want to be more supportive of officials to make sure that we have enough, especially at the youth level, too, because I think sometimes we're too harsh on them. So, and same thing at the high school level, too. Yeah. So and, I know and, it gets more competitive, but at the same time, we need them. So. Sure, sure. And, and yeah. that stretches to parents, too. <laughs> parents of high school and youth players as well. Please keep it cool. They're kids, all right? Uh, he is Greg Acuna of Pace Center. He is Chris Black of BCSN fame and in this chair every Sunday night. This has been Sidekicks, brought to you by Pace Center.